Welcome to another episode on my channel. This episode is different because it's about books and the specific book which I'm going to be reviewing today is called Girls Who Code and I've read this book and it's quite good actually but in this video I'm going to reread it along with you. It's part of my read with me uh, compilation. So first of all Girls Who Code is actually a non-profit organization by Reshma Sajani and um, this is a book about how you can start learning code and the basics of coding as you can see from the contents over here there's quite a lot of good content in this book including a glossary acknowledgments and an index the glossary is great because it gives you an overview of coding uh, terms which are important and another good thing about the book is that there are lots of illustrations in between which helps you to stay focused and basically it's not like a boring book just rambling about coding it's like quite interactive and nice before i mentioned that girls who code is a non-profit organization but i forgot to mention what its aims are its main aim is to close the tech gender gap because the percentage of girls who code is very less and they aim to increase that uh, percentage and this is their website you can visit it as well it's girlswhocode.com now let's get into the topics that this book covers. So to begin with, the book takes you through the fundamentals of coding such as loops, variables, functions, and conditions. It's not going to teach you how to code as in you won't be an expert in coding after reading it, but it does teach you some fundamentals. Next, it gives a brief history of coding and it also tells us about coding in terms of art, games, robots, web apps, mobile apps, etc. Now you might be wondering, is it worth spending time reading? Yes, it's totally worth it. It's going to help you to understand what coding is and how it helps in everyday life. And without any further hesitation, let's start the Read With Me session. So that was it. I read the whole book in one session and it was great. Even rereading it was amazing, which shows you that it has a lot of useful information and it's not a boring book. Over here, I just wanted to show you that this book is available on Amazon and um, it looks different in both hardcover and paperback, which is why the colors look a little different than the one I have. And uh, you can also find this book anywhere else in any other uh, bookshop. I'm sure. I'll just show you another website of another bookshop which is called Kinokuniya. I'm sure some people must know about this bookshop. It's, um, it's in many countries and I'll just see the website for UAE as you can see the book is over here as well. So thank you for watching my video and I'm going to make more videos like this sooner and I hope you enjoy them.